Uh, there have been six initiatives to the legislature that have been uh, certified to us. Uh, each time those initiatives were uh, introduced and referred to committee on the House floor, House Republicans made a motion uh, to instruct that committee to hold a hearing. Uh, every one of those was uh, voted down by every single House Democrat. Uh, this morning, the ranking Republican members on each committee to which an initiative was referred uh, has uh, sent and delivered a letter to the chair of that committee uh, formally requesting hearings be held. <clears throat> uh, when we had moved on the floor to uh, instruct those committee to hold hearings, the excuses that we were given by the House Majority Leader were along the lines of uh, these decisions are up to the chair of the committees, and uh, because these, bill these initiatives aren't subject to cutoff, there is plenty of time later in session to take them up. Uh, so with that in mind, we have now asked the committee chairs in a formal manner to uh, hold hearings, as is their prerogative, uh, and uh, pointed out that there's not that many committee meetings left that are scheduled. And uh, we are now past the first cutoff. And since these initiatives aren't subject to cutoff, uh, <clears throat> we should uh, begin scheduling hearings right, right away. So uh, we will see we will see what happens. But uh, House Republicans continue to insist that uh, we should at minimum hold hearings, and that's a position, by the way, that uh, the Seattle Times editorial board uh, wrote about over the weekend uh, agreeing with us. <clears throat>